Welcome to the first episode of a new series we're working on this channel. Uh, so in this series, we're going to be going through some of the aquariums here at our Fluval Aquatic Room. We'll be doing one aquarium per episode. In each episode, we're going to be talking about the tank itself, uh, the aquascape, the equipment that we're using on the tank, the fish we've selected, the plants we've used, uh, talking to you guys about what has worked for us. Maybe you guys can use it as tips for your own aquariums at home. Uh, so to dive right into it, first tank here is a custom nano cube. It's about seven gallons in volume. Uh, we're running the new Plant Nano Bluetooth LED, uh, which is operated by the Fluval Smart app. Uh, we've got an AquaClear 20 hang on back filter, an M series heater. We've got uh, our new 95 gram CO2 kit. We've also used Fluval Stratum uh, as the substrate for this tank. Now talking about the layout itself, um, it's just some natural wood and a couple of stones. Uh, when using a natural soil substrate, I like to put my hardscape uh, directly on the bottom of the tank and add my substrate in later. Um, I just find it works a little bit better for me. Now the style of the aquascape is more of a, a triangular style. Um, I like doing that for nano aquariums. I find it a little bit easier to make an impactful aquascape. The other styles require a lot more detail and it's hard to get that in a smaller aquarium such as this one. Um, so now talking about planting, I've only gone with three uh, species of plants in this one. Again, the theme is simplicity usually in smaller aquariums such as this one. So uh, we've got Rotala rotundifolia in the back, which if you look, um, the, the tips of that species oftentimes becomes red under, uh, under good lighting and that has complemented the rocks that we've used in this aquarium very nicely. We've also got Anubius Nana in the midground. That's just been attached to the wood and the rocks. Um, I tie it down with some fishing line and then it just holds on by its own. Then we've got S. Repens in the foreground. Um, so what I was trying to do with these plant selections is, is blend them together, get more of a seamless transition throughout the tank and really emphasize your one focal point right in the middle. Um, so doing that with similar colors, similar leaf shapes, and it can really bring the whole aquascape into, into unison, into harmony. Um, so now talking about the livestock for the aquarium, uh, we've used Ember Tetras in this aquarium. Now they're a super choice for smaller aquariums such as this. They come from minor tributaries, backwaters, slower moving waters. Uh, in a smaller tank like this, you can't really generate strong water movement currents uh, in the tank. So you want to choose a species that prefers slower moving waters. Ember tetras are a great choice and they look uh, fantastic in the tank with the colors we've gone with. We've also got some amano shrimp and uh, a neurite snail. That's just for algae control. In a smaller tank like this, your parameters can vary a little bit more easily than in a larger tank. Uh, so it's good to have a, a so-called cleanup crew that'll help just keep any algae uh, in check should it get out of hand. Uh, otherwise, that's about it, guys. Um, if you've liked this tank, if you like this episode, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. Uh, let us know down below what you think of the aquarium. Give us some comments about it. Uh, and stay tuned for the next episode coming soon. Thanks for watching.